Well, hello everyone. It's Protect Our Rights. And we're here with another First Amendment video. Right off of um, 10th and Linden, where Admiral Wilson Boulevard is. That's the Abigail House. We're doing the um, small little police station they have on South London. I actually don't know what this is. Let's see if they respect our rights to record on a publicly accessible area. So we got one squad car, no one in it. Already got let their car heat up and stuff. So. All this trash. On the side of our beloved police station still. Hey look, someone popped up. They're coming, we seniority. So I have this old police cruiser here. Don't know if I don't even know if they still use this. It's probably Camden County just keeping it as memorabilia or something. And this will be my second video on the Camden County Police Department. Um this place is pretty messy, to be honest. <laughs> pretty sure that uh, officer probably tells somebody they got somebody outside recording or something. Hey, look, cool, it's a bike cop. Awesome. But it's actually shift change right now, so... It's gonna be a lot of officers coming in and out. It's a small little entrance. They got a crappy gate for a police station. Hey, look, it's a female officer. Look, this one's looking right at me. Everyone say hi. They don't like being recorded here. It says no trespassing. Camden County Police Department, no trespassing. Police personnel only. Non-emergency calls. What could you possibly be calling them for to report anything, I guess? I don't know. Guess we'll ask one of them when they come. We And... They also have a little, they also have a little um park directly next to the police station. They're looking right at me like, what am I doing? Oh no, I'm fine, I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing awesome. Those are partners, true partners. And that's a small police station, you know? actually super small no emergency calls I guess here so it's like really weird to me actually it's taking her bike off the car and I'm pretty sure they have really expensive bikes probably like $1,500 bikes but in the meantime I'll just walk over here show you guys our little park we have in North Camden on 10th Street for the kids it has a soccer field basketball court um 
It even has a small little playground. See, we love North Camden. Uh, we have a lot of graffiti out here, so it's our basketball court, soccer field, baseball field right over there behind this little building right there. And our playground, which is pretty cool because this park's been around for quite a while. Maybe someday I'll take you guys to Palm Point Park and show you our new park. Finally got our park updated, which is awesome. Now I'm kind of surprised because um, this police station kind of doesn't have any cameras on it whatsoever, which I would think a police station would have cameras everywhere. So it doesn't make any sense to me. I guess every day after they come off of their shift, they have to drop their bikes off somewhere, their bike rack, or whatever the case may be. It's like, hey, come on, partner. Let's go clock out. Let's go home and have a drink. Sometimes it's hard to tell the good cops from the bad cops. So I treat them all the same with respect as they should treat us with respect. I mean, we do pay their salary, so. For those of you who do not know, our tax paying dollars go to paying our ambulance, firefighters, police station, and these cameras right there. Yep. We have some traffic um, cameras in places, but I don't think they're in use because I've been hearing that uh, the city of Canada doesn't make enough money to run these cameras, so it's a shame that they spent our taxpaying dollars on that anyway. Everyone, say hi. He's coming to speak to me. Car number 985. He doesn't care. Should be good time. So he knows it's okay for us to record, obviously. Let's see if we have to educate anyone today. It's a little cold out here. It's drizzling a little bit. Um. Alternate hands. Actually, I thought before you leave, you're supposed to check if all your sirens work and if your car's okay and stuff. Um, I actually didn't see that cop do that, but I guess this car's fine. Probably did it before I came around, I guess. Hey, look. Looks like a lieutenant or something. He'll be getting in his car. He'll be coming down here shortly. Yes, he is.
I don't understand why they have such small police stations in all places in Camden. Don't know why, but they do. What's going on, man? How are you, man? <laughs> all right. And that's actually Sergeant May right there. This is the guy that I spoke to the last time. He is amazing, man. What's going on, Sarge? How are you, man? I'm good, man. Nice to see you too, man. I'm over here doing my first amendment. Um, I'm really not sure. I haven't spoke to him since. Yeah. You know, I let everything be, you know. I'll try to shoot up there. But um, I headed over to your police station uh, oh, yeah, okay. actually two days ago. Okay. It was kind of all right. Yeah. I spoke to a guy named Irizarry. Yeah, yeah, um, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy, they were yeah. kind of upset or whatever. You know what I mean? But yeah. I told him it's perfectly legal. Yeah. I spoke to you about it. Yeah. As long as you don't they, were, they, they were kind of pissed a little bit. They asked me for my ID. I told them, um, no. Hey, and then, problem. man, everybody, this is uh, Sergeant right here, Sergeant May. Great guy, very cordial, knows the law, works for Internal Affairs. If y'all want to call down to the station, let them know you got a great officer on duty. You know what I mean? He's out here for the public, so you guys know Camden is trying to do their thing for us, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to get this positivity going for the yeah. Camden County. I want to be the voice to my city, like I told you before. Well, hey, I'm going to, uh, let me get you a We got a, a guy, Vidal Rivera, who's uh -huh. doing a special push for city residents for officers. All right, well, can so, I just give you um my well, email address or whatever? I don't care, whatever. Yeah, just because you'd be a perfect person. All right, man. To get in touch with yeah, let's that, do it. You know, guys, you know that. that and I know Vidal, yeah. too, so. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh. of course. I used to box with him years ago, man. Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. So, hey, there you go, man. That's the sergeant I spoke to, as I told you on my previous video. The guy's amazing, man. This guy's great. He knows his law. He works for internal affairs for a few years. See, he pulled up. Hey, man, what's going on? How you doing? That's the type of police officers we need in Canada. People who's going to sit yeah, around and talk to the public. And we're talking about it. I was like, yeah, we got to just get with the right people. What's I'm going to pause this real quick. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, man, this dude is great, man. I love this guy, man. Now, a lot of these people don't understand, but um, not every cop is bad. We got the good cops. We got the bad cops. But man, if we get more cops and officers like him on the force hill, the city will be a lot better. Because sometimes it's just a big misunderstanding between the officers and the public. You understand? So you have to learn how to talk. You got to learn how to express yourself without being ignorant, without being rude, without being judgmental. If you have something wrong going on with one person, you know what I mean? The next person, you know? So it's like... You just gotta understand the thing sometimes. So it's like, I know that was a bit of a little okie doke. You get what I'm saying? Is hey man, let me um, I need your number, man. Nah, sorry, can't have my number. But you can take down my email. My email doesn't have any information anyway, so you know. This is what we do. Great guy, man. Probably gonna tell him, hey, man, you see that guy over there? He's a great dude. Don't go over there. He's perfectly within his rights. Um, you know, he's just educating his officers, which is a good thing. He just has my email. I gave him my email. I guess they want, want me to be on their council. He says I'm a good person that they can talk to. Hey, man, I'm with it. I'm doing nothing wrong. You know, you want me on your council to show them that you can get along with the police officers also without being in trouble? So be it. This is great, though, man. I like stuff like this. I just want everybody to know their rights. You know, every citizen has rights. Felon, ex-felon, you know, never been in trouble in your life. It doesn't matter. You have rights. Protest your rights. Do not let these officers be tyrants. They cannot tell you what to do. They cannot tell you where to record, where to stand, where to sit, 
who you can speak to, who you can't speak to. You do what you want. You are a citizen. You are a taxpayer. We should feel safe. We pay their salary. You know? Now, with that email, you know, they're going to probably try to look me up and honestly not find anything. <laughs> but what I will probably end up doing is eh, changing my email anyway. They're just trying to find out who I am, what my name is, where I live. See, what happens is, um, when a police station takes down your information or whatever the case may be, they write a report on it, which goes into one of their watch lists. Not saying it's a terrorist watch list or anything, but they do have a watch list and they put your name down. So in the future, when something happens, they have your name and your information, you know, so this is what they do. And at the end of the day, they're just doing their job, too. So you can't even get mad at them. See, a lot of the females on the force right now, though, ooh, they're really tyrants. Like, they just, I, I don't know exact where they're, like, power crazed. Like, they abuse their power some sort of way. Like, they think they can talk to the civilians the way they want. Like, hey, man, you work for me, so... So I don't want to talk to you, I don't have to talk to you. As long as I'm with, well within my rights and haven't committed a crime or am going to commit a crime, you have no reason to identify me. As you see, the sergeant came out. He was real cordial with me and everything. I know what he was doing. He was, the first thing he did, asked me for my phone number. Nope, can't have my phone number. I'll give you my email. You can contact me through email. You know? Find me on there. My email has no information that's actually my email is actually email that i made uh last year when i was selling um collectibles online so that's just for my ebay and stuff so you know so there you go that's just to show you how important it is to know your rights and you don't have to be afraid of the police. You just have to know how to speak to them. That's all. I had paused the video for a few seconds just to write down my email. We didn't really talk about much. It just wrote down my email real quick. Hey, you want me on um on a civil team? Cool. That would be awesome. I would love to do that. Now I get to go record wherever you guys are at. Let's do it. Post you guys on YouTube and show them the pros and cons of what's going on in the city of Camden. You guys are going to help my YouTube channel rise. Like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell, you know, for more future videos. Check out my last video. Um, hopefully, I'll be going to... A uh, few more stops, a few more police stations, post office. Let's see if they respect our rights. You know? And, um, yeah. So, so far, so good. The last time they didn't like it. This time, no one was approaching me. I guess their sergeant told them, which is good. He's educating them on, you know, on our rights and stuff. So, that's it. And everyone, this is not for you guys to go out and manipulate your rights and think you can speak to the police the way you want or do as you wish to them now. This is just to educate my um, my peers, um, the younger generation, the older generation, people who believe they're being harassed, 
people who have had bad experience with the Kenton Police Department um, for any reason, you know? I just want everyone to be aware of their rights, what they can and can't do. Um, don't let the police scare you, you know? If you're not doing nothing illegal, you don't have to give up your identification unless you're in trouble, man. If you did something wrong, photography is not a crime. Photography is definitely not a crime. But uh, I'm going to keep rolling for the next couple minutes as I walk. I won't walk directly to my car because they'll probably end up just following me and pulling me over or something. So, you know. Uh, actually, uh, hey, look, a police officer. Everybody wave hi. Well, hi. You know? Um, walk down to a, uh, I don't know what it is, but I think what they do is um, they have a police officer posted there. Um, just making sure people follow the traffic lights or nobody runs the red lights or no one's on that corner begging for change or, you know, so let's go check him out or her. Not sure what it is yet or who they are, but, um. That's another reason why I think they're always there on that corner is because it's actually a school right across from the highway. So I think they try to make sure that uh, the kids are safe coming out of school. No one's going 100 miles per hour down a 25 mile per hour school zone. Because people tend to do that all the time. And this is a relatively new school too that's just been built about, I don't know, I'd say about five years ago the school got built. It's a beautiful school. The city of Camden has been trying to um, tear down all the old things and build new schools and empower our people. actually a nice school one two three different buildings pretty sure one of them is a gymnasium and the other two are where the classes and stuff are at. it's pretty nice school though right across from a church and a um i think it's a preschool or a daycare yeah a daycare As you can see, there's a police officer there. Go across the street. Show you guys his um, patrol car and stuff. His is actually uh, white on black, I guess. The other ones are black on white. So, um... Got his little raincoat on, you know. So. Just move out of their way so they can walk through. <laughs> I 
It's to just pace this back and forth, make sure all the kids can cross the street, right? I would hate to be out here in the cold like that. And that's a, actually a beautiful police car, man. And there goes another street right there. And they got these all over the city, so. And when I say all over, I mean all over. They got these everywhere. And that is a nice police car. Back seat, nice little computer. Camden County Police Department. Beautiful. I've always wanted a charger, the police interceptor, you know? I've always wanted one. Beautiful car. Beautiful. I don't know, to me, I actually think having these laptops in a car are pretty dangerous, but, uh. Hey. People are looking at me like, what is this guy doing recording a cop car? Um, exercising my First Amendment right. That is what I'm doing. I guess they just patrol all the traffic down from that area down there, coming in, coming down to the school zone right here, to the traffic light, coming across because the school actually stands right on the corner of the highway and the exit of the highway. Actually, that's the freeway, Highway 676. You got an upcoming Burger King right there. You see Northgate Apartments, Northgate 1 and Northgate 2. Right here, Family Dollar. Uh, yeah. You can see this is a very busy area. So this is what they try to control a little bit. See people just flying by all the time, you know. So. Car number 915. I still can't believe how nice their cars are. How's it going? Pretty sure they uh, called on the loudspeaker and um, told him that I'd be out here filming. Hopefully the sergeant actually um, Educated these guys on this. And hey, man, this guy's actually working for his money today because it's raining outside. It's nice and cool. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Today is like, it's just cold because of the rain. So it's like, let's see if he just comes over here to speak to me or he just, um, Stays on the corner, calls the sergeant. Now, actually, uh, some people actually live under that little bridge right over there. And they try to stop that from happening. And then they have people who live under that bridge over there. And, um... They used to have a place called Tent City back here somewhere, but I don't... I think it's when you come off the highway up that way. I know that. I don't actually feel bad for this guy walking back and forth this whole time in the rain. Cold. And that's actually an officer on his way to work right there. That's funny. 
yeah choker so yeah there you go you guys that's the Canon Police Department on 10th of London and their roadblock on the not sure what exit this is but I know it's the final exit off of 676 coming into North Camden so uh yeah just know your rights protect your rights